Hello again everybody. Uh, in my last video I uh, teased that I was going to be making an anti-backlash nut for the cross slide lead screw for the lathe. Uh, and indeed this is the video which is covering that little project. Um, I'll take you over to the lathe, show you a bit of a drawing uh, that I've uh, made from a CAD model. Having trawled the internet for a suitable design, I've uh, come up with one. Or well, I haven't come up with one, somebody else has come up with one, which I think is uh, quite a neat solution. Uh, and I've copied that. So uh, no need to reinvent the wheel, is there? Over to the lathe and we'll get on with it. This is the design I've uh, decided to go with. It consists of the main nut. A, um, in my case I'm using a brass uh, in threaded insert, an adjusting nut and a uh, retaining sleeve which slips over this nut here. The threaded um, insert goes inside the main nut and seats on this re rebate there. The adjusting nut goes um, is partially threaded and it goes inside this recess and butts up against the uh, well, the end of the insert and um, obviously as you turn the uh, adjusting nut it will, well, it will eventually bind up so that it locks the screw so you back it off a shade so that there's no backlash slip that on the end and then clamp it to the main nut uh, with four screws. There's a cross section hopefully showing the, uh, uh, what I've just described. doesn't show up very well on my camera screen but uh, I think you probably get the idea. In uh, true Blue Peter tradition, although I realise that won't mean much to uh, some of you, here's some parts I made earlier. That's the main block, and there's the brass threaded insert that goes in there and will eventually be glued in place. The adjusting nut and the um, retaining plate go on here there's two slots milled in the end right here so that you can with a suitable device twist the adjusting nut so that there's minimal or no backlash uh, within the mechanism and then once that's clamped up tight and you're satisfied that the backlash is taken out four screws hold the clamping plate uh, to the main nut. All should become clear when I've finished making all the other bits. At the moment I'm in the process of making the adjusting nut which is giving you a bit of jip at the moment because it keeps slipping in the three jaw chuck so I'm about to take that off and mount a, um, a ER25 collet holder in the in the spindle uh, and when that's done I'll get on with the uh, adjusting nut and I'll bring you back when that's finished Me, I've finished making that I'm not going to I'm going to show you all my mistakes on that one. So, come back in a minute. Well, I've brought you back over to the lathe uh, just to show you this. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. If it does, well, I'll keep it in the video. If it doesn't, I'll probably be all right. But um, uh, the, the lathe is switched off, so no worries about the spindle turning. I've got a spanner resting on the uh, or clamped on the chuck and resting on the um, splash guard to stop the chuck rotating. The 
uh, adjusting sleeve is in the ER25 collet and I've got a 3mm um, end mill in the uh, little tiny spindle that I bought uh, oh, some while ago and I think I probably did a, a video of it <coughs> and uh, the idea is it's a set up on the centre line uh, the idea is I'm just going to run it and then slowly move it through and cut the two slots in the end of the adjusting nut <laughs> that's the theory so here we go, let's have a go and see what happens. Probably a bit too much for it, so I'll, I'll just take a slice off. No, I didn't like that either. <laughs> Let's plunge it in for the end so it acts actually like a, an end mill. have to do that with a file. Yeah, I think that's probably the safest way. So, I'll probably leave that in the video. It's good to see when things don't go well as well as when they go right, I think. So, there we are, back to square one and I'll um, break out the files and do it by hand. Well, some weeks have passed by since that last little episode. Um, no excuses really, apart from the fact that it was uh, damn cold for uh, quite a while and I uh, didn't feel inclined to come out to the workshop in those conditions. Um, and then uh, I had a mini stroke and I didn't know at the time it was a mini stroke. It was only later diagnosed, which uh, put me off doing things. And then I had a very bad attack of uh, sciatica, which ended up with me being carted off in an ambulance. Uh, that's my excuses, uh, and I'm sticking to them. However, I'm back out here now. Christmas is over, all that uh, stuff, and it's all assembled. And uh, in principle it works, however, while I dig out an Allen key, I have uh, decided I'm not going to fit it because I've found an alternative way of taking out the backlash, which for the little bit of uh, uh, work that I do on the lathe at the moment is uh, going to... Uh, do me but uh, as you can see at the moment it um, the adjusting nut swivels round 
that will take out the back lashes I had ex already explained and then doing these up a bit of a nip traps the, traps the adjusting nut and uh, it doesn't move thereby taking out the backlash QED not entirely uh, convinced that printing it in uh, PLA even with carbon fiber reinforcing is going to do the job in the um, in the f next instance but um, I think perhaps uh, it will be better off done in uh, in metal so if I do get around to doing it that's what I will do however that will need a, a mill what I ain't got at the moment there we are that's done principle has been explained the principle has proven to work as I knew it would because someone else had done it before so uh, I leave it there uh, hopefully this uh, ending is going to be caught on camera this time I think the battery ran out previously However, sorry about the disjointed nature of this video. Uh, the next one will hopefully be a bit, uh, bit better. Just coming up to New Year, so I'll wish you all a Happy New Year for 2025. And if you have been, thanks for sticking with it and thanks for watching. You can catch me next time. Bye for now.